tension in Igbo land. As Fulani as men storm Enugu after Simeon Epa's arrest, slaughtered farmers in cold blood. So, guys, this is terrible. However, let's hear the details. A tragic incident unfolded in the Mboji community of Eha Amufu Isi Ozo local government area as armed henchmen launched a brutal attack on local farmers, resulting in the death of three individuals and leaving several others injured. This assault has sent shockwaves through the community which has a history of violence linked to his men in the region. The attack which took place on Friday was marked by extreme brutality among the victims was a farmer who was reportedly slaughtered in the midst of his rice feed, with video evidence showing the man surrounded by a basket of freshly harvested cassava. Eyewitnesses described a scene of showers as the ex men invaded the farms, leading to the destruction of substantial agricultural lands, particularly rice crops that were nearing harvest. This latest outbreak of violence is not an isolated incident. From 2017 to 2022, the Eha Amufu community witnessed a series of assaulted and by, by men leading to the deaths of at least 123 local and the displacement of numerous farming settlements. Community leader Oge Ye Odu expressed deep frustration, highlighting that the recent violence marks a resurgence of the long standing conflict between local farmers and herdsmen over land and resources. Odu lamented, saying, Chiri people went to their farms, were killed in the most savage brutality. Their only offense was tending to their crops when the ensmen entered and began to destroy them. The man who was eliminated was in rice and in his rice farm when he was attacked. Let's see the impacts on the local farmers through by the ensmen. The recent attacks have compounded the challenges faced by farmers in the region. Reports indicate that the violence began escalating about two weeks prior co coinciding with the harvest session and the harvest season. Farmers are now grappling with not only the loss of life but also the devastating 
of their crops, which are critical for lives for their livelihood. Odu voiced his concern about the future of farming in Eha Amufu, stating that they can see the destruction of a large rice farm that was cultivated over four months. It raises the question, is there a conspiracy at play? How is it that attacks resumed after the, wise, after the withdrawal of soldiers deployed to protect this area? Now, let's hear their healthcare challenges. The situation has been exacerbated by a healthcare crisis in the region. Reports indicate that the injured victims were denied treatment at the Enugu State Teaching Hospital due to a workers' strike currently affecting medical services. This has forced families to seek alternatives, often unaffordable medical care in private facilities. Ordu noted the dire circumstance for one victim saying the man who was butchered is currently in a private hospital where they demand an exorbitant fee just to begin treatment. The severity of the situation is alarming. And so this needs a call for urgent action. In light of the recent violence, community leaders are urgently calling for intervention from both federal and state government or do criticize the withdrawal of military personnel, stating that only a handful of soldiers remains in the expansive area, which shares a long border with Benue State. He emphasized the inadequacy of local vigilante groups who are here equipped to confront the harmed henchmen. So guys, I dropped the matter here. How do you see to this issue? Kindly drop your comment on the comment section below. And also do not forget to share and subscribe to Bliss channel. Thank you.